Welcome back to another episode of Corolla Customs and today we're going to talk about the differences between uh, ratchets. We're going to talk about the differences between Harbor Freight, Snap-on and Craftsman. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to try to explain this in the most simplest terms possible. So let's say you're looking for a car, you're trying to find a brand new car to drive around in. Um, you have three options and you're going to look at all of them. You're going to go to Hyundai, Honda or Toyota and Mercedes-Benz or BMW. The Harbor Freight Ratchet is more like a Hyundai. It's still good, not the best quality, but it's good. It'll last and um, it does the job. It gets you from point A to B and it does what it needs to do. You have the Toyota or the Honda, which is good quality, lasts for a very long time, does the same exact job that the Hyundai is gonna do, but it's quality, you know? And then you get up to the Snap-on, which is the Mercedes-Benz or the BMW of all. And this is extremely well quality. It does the same exact job that these three do. It's gonna last you a very long time. Well, it depends on how you take care of your, your products, but it'll last you a very long time and it's like a high maintenance of all three now now to be honest with you out of all three of these the harbor freight the craftsman and the snap-on the most that i use all the time is really the harbor freight and the snap-on that's what i use most of the time i barely even use the craftsman i don't know why i just don't maybe it's because the snap-on and the harbor freight comes with the on and off switch so it tells you which one's on which one's off harbor freight craftsman you can figure it out if you've been doing it for a while but um, I don't really like the Craftsman that much. You see, Harbor Freight is really cheap, Craftsman is in the middle, and Snap-on is really expensive. Now, I usually go towards whoever offers lifetime warranty, which all three of them do offer lifetime warranty. If you ever try to get lifetime warranty from a Snap-on, it is so difficult to do. It was easier when you had a tools guy coming with his truck to get the warranty but now that i own my own business and i kind of work for myself there is no tool guy that comes along so you have to go through the website and every time i try to email these guys snap on really doesn't respond so i kind of just gave up with them mostly i go to sears or harbor freight all my snap on tools that i do have they still work and they're in good condition i do have a few that are broken um, which I just can't replace so I just gave up and went to Sears and Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight is really cheap. It's really affordable for anyone who can, who needs tools. Um, I tend to go wherever offers lifetime warranty like I said, which all three of them do. Um, Harbor Freight and Sears are very easy to get the lifetime warranty. You just go in, give them the tool and they will swap them out. Off lately, I have noticed that Sears started asking you for your receipts now of the tools before they can swap them, and I don't understand why. Why would I keep a receipt for 20 years and, and expect to swap out a tool? Why? That's so stupid. Arbor Freight, whenever something breaks, I just walk in and they just give it to me right away. They just tell me to choose what I want, bring it to the front cashier, and she'll swap it out. And she does. I've had this for three years now. I really like it. It's one of the long extended ratchets. You know, um, it, it does the job. It does everything. You know, I use it for almost everything. I use it with my snap-on sockets. Uh, I use it with my Craftsman sockets. I use it with my Harbor Freight sockets. I, I love the Harbor Freight stuff. You know, so what if it's cheap? Um, it really does the job. It does the job like it's supposed to do. And if anything ever happens, I just go and warranty it. I mean, what else can you ask for, you know? The Craftsman is also as good. It does the job. Um, the only thing I don't like is the warranty where now you have to get your receipts and it's just so dumb. Um, and the Snap-on, I love it. I love the quality of Snap-on. But the thing is, they never responded to me for my uh, warranty and I just don't like that. And the customer service is just not there. So I'm, I'm done with Snap-on and I'm done with Craftsman. Uh, now I just go to Harbor Freight for everything. I'm not endorsed by Harbor Freight or anything. I just really like the products that they have. Even though it's not the best of quality, it still does what it's meant to do. So whenever I need to remove anything, you know, it comes right off with them. They all have 72 teeth gear. They, you know, they're basically the same exact thing. And m majority of them are made in, uh, in China. Craftsman I know is made in China. Harbor Freight I know is made in China. I want to say this one's made in the U.S., but who knows? Nowadays, everything is made in China, so I don't see made in the U.S. anywhere. I don't see if this one says made in the U.S., so I'm not sure about that one. But um, <clears throat> supposedly, Snap-on is supposed to be made in the U.S. I know sometimes they outsource some of their stuff, so it's not all made in the U.S. Craftsman used to be made in the U.S., but now they outsource as well. 
Harbor Freight is definitely not made in the US, it's China. But like I said, it's a good tool and it'll last. Now, I'm just gonna give you my real honest opinion on which one I like the most, and it's honestly the Harbor Freight. Why? Because it's cheap, it's, it's durable, and it does the job. And you still get lifetime warranty. You do not need to go and expense yourself and get the high quality Snap-on or the Craftsman. You can get the lower end ratchet and it still does the same thing. They're making them, they're making them competitive towards these other two brands. And um, I can see it, honestly. Now people may say, oh, you're not a real mechanic because you don't have snap-on quality or you don't have good quality. Uh, listen, I really don't give a crap because towards the end of the day, it helps me fix the car and I get the job done. I haven't ever broken a tool on the job with a uh, Harbor Freight yet. The only time I've ever broken one was on my personal car while I was doing it and I put a breaker bar, I put a, uh, a pipe on this and I used it for the wrong purposes and that's what broke it. But for the most part, you never really need to because it's already a long leverage and and it does, like I said, it just does the job, guys. Honestly, if I were you, I'd just say go to Harbor Freight and get what you need to get. When I used to be a tech at Toyota, Honda, Ford, and Nissan, I used to buy some Snap-on. I only have a few Snap-on stuff only because you know the guys were there and they influenced you to get snap on and whatever and after spending so much money on one ratchet i forgot how much this was it was probably like 200 something dollars or 150 or something and i was just like that's such a waste of money this was 40 dollars i was just like that's a waste of money and this was 12 bucks and i was like or 18 dollars and i was like that's that's a better uh, price so i just went with this it's longer than all three you know and more you get more leverage on it and i just i really do like him and i honestly feel like you guys should go with the harbor freight material they're all made with 72 teeth like i said they all are in competition with each other people may disagree but i'm just gonna say that that's what i believe um if you guys have anything else to add to why you think one ratchet may be better than the other please leave a comment in below um, this video is not to start fights with anyone or to judge anyone's belief. We all have our own opinions. Uh, I would love to hear your guys' opinions, so please leave a comment on the video below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like, and I'll give it a try and see. I could even do a review for you guys, all right? So thank you very much for watching this video, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Corolla Customs is out.